So we talked about how the other day a judge ruled that Donald Trump committed fraud and has lied about his net worth for years, which is funny because there's a ton of us who have talked about that for years and years. But now it's official. A judge has ruled on it. And as part of that ruling, within 10 days, Trump and the other defendants must provide names of potential independent receivers to manage the dissolution of the canceled LLCs. Part of that being like, all of the buildings, all of these businesses that have Trump on them, that all has to go bye-bye. And by the very next day, it already started. As you probably know by now, are removing the Trump name from their displays today. He's at the Trump Hotel. and most prevalent businessman in all my lifetime, right? A lot of names on a lot of things. Yes. I mean, this is on the side of the road. Yeah, a lot of, that's yeah. got to be a, a works progress. That's an infrastructure play in itself, getting his name down. The Trump name the legacy was built by Donald Trump's father in New York. And now Donald Trump has essentially been run out of town on a rail and destroyed any value that name had in New York. He has destroyed everything his father built. But ultimately, I'm here to help. He has 10 days to turn over all these LLCs. That seems like a daunting task. And I'm just here to offer up a perhaps radical suggestion but I think is timely and I think might solve some of their problems.